Look at this one. The 1978 Hornby Railways catalogue is bruised and battered. This has been well loved before by a child. This has got to be one of my favourites. You know, the photography is great in here. I like the black. I like the layouts. There's lots of new stuff. They were very excited putting this together. Look, nice little 1970s style um, clothing. Now, I was five in 1978, so... That could well have been me with a clockwork train set and ridiculous clothing. Except it isn't because I didn't have one. I did have the clothing. I had worse clothing than that. So here we go. So it's just given an introduction of the electric train set. And this was a big year for the train sets with the TV advertising. You know, I mean, look at his hair and his teeth. Now, he's probably, what, 10 years old there? So he's got to be five years older than me. This, this guy's in his 50s, maybe 60 now. I look at him, look at his cheeky little smile. I'd love to know who he is. Look, there he is, there he is. He's probably the photographer's son or something like that, you know. Not one of these modelling agency people. So the R689 GWR freight set. This is one of many versions of exactly the same thing, just with a couple of different wagons and a uh, different different um, uncoupling set and maybe an extra piece of track or not. You've got a BR freight set, a little bit newer. London transport goods set. Now that's quite interesting because that's not something you'd you'd necessarily expect to see. You know, it's not going to be a big seller in the collectors of, of ranges as such. Then the London North East Railway heavy goods set. Uh -huh. You're seeing Seeing the same wagons though all the time, you know, and I'm sure the shell tanker isn't isn't going to be particularly historically accurate. I do like that United Dairies one though, but you see, you've got you've got like Arnold Sands is in the LNER. Arnold Sands is also with the GWR. Wow, 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 wow! So I mean, this is a nice big set. Look, you've got siding and everything. You've got loads on there. So that's a nice playable set. BR Express Freight Set, a GWR Branch Passenger Set. There's another little kid there playing in the. Oh, look at that! He got got cool duvet covers, bunk beds, BR High Speed Train Set. Now that'd be HST. Look at that. And then the BR Inner City Set with a Type Thirty Seven. So these were modern then, but look at this. The R697 LMS Express Passenger Set. Now that is a beauty of a set. Who wouldn't want that? Look at that. You've got a Duchess class locomotive, Duchess of Sutherland. You've got three long carriages. You've got the card tunnel. You've got a couple of signals. You've got a loading, um, unca uh, sorry, a, 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 an uncoupling, re-railing, derailing ramp. Uncoupling ramp. Get it right. Spit it out, man. Spit it out. You've also got your level crossing. You've got a selection of straights of different lengths. You've got a selection of curves, although that's the R605 curves, so it seems a bit ridiculous to me because that's way too tight. It's going to look ridiculous. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's nice. I mean, there's your track layout. And uh, guess who actually has one of those? Yes, it's me. <laughs> I got that about 20 years ago. I was I was buying locomotives. Um, the Duchess of Sutherland didn't work and I got the whole set up for a song. And do you know it did? I went mm -mm 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 on it, on the track, and that was fine. So I did really well there. I still got it. I'll put that together and show you. So then layout extensions. You've got the three-part preformed layout. Look at this. This is quite a good idea because, you know, we used to go and get ourselves a piece of chipboard or whatever, or our fathers would, and then cut it up and it would store under the bed. But to have something that looked a bit more realistic would have been great. There you go, different track packs to extend it. Somebody, somebody scroll there. You know, is that the bits he wants or the bits he hasn't got or that he has got or doesn't want? And you've got some nice drawings of trains. Look at that, artist impressions of the engines. Beautiful. So it tells you all about the different locomotives, so steam and diesel, locomotive wheel arrangements, what they're called, types. Anyway, so looking at the various ones, so you've got a nice dark background on the photography there. 
on the King Edward I, that's a new for 1978 model. And you've got the profile artist's impression. Same with the Evening Star. You've got a class 37 Coco. Doesn't mean you get to drink Coco and it doesn't mean it's a Chanel model. What it is, what it means is the type of bogey arrangement. Coco bogeys. There we go. So the Duchess of Sutherland. Beautiful. I love those LMS 462s. Duchess class. I think they're beautiful. Coronation class rather. So I've got that. And I've also got both of these GWR ones. That one's new for 1978. That one, I don't know which number I've got on it, but this thing appeared in different numbers at different times. Back to the modern day. Look at that, that Britannia. Look at that, what a massive, massive thing that was. Small modern ones. Flying Scotsman, nice little bit of the old James May sort of stuff. You go all the way to Devon in one of those. Just not very far when you're there. Diesel electrics. Look at that, look at that. I'm just, this This is a really nice catalogue. I mean, it really delights visually. And the white um, pages as a background set things off nicely. There you go, got Ginny as well, haven't I? <laughs> was that new this year? Yes, a Ginny was new. So mine dates from then. I didn't get it then. I got it in the early 80s, second hand, off a chap called Mark Williamson. Still see him about from time to time. Paid a five, I think, or maybe 750, something like that. Now this is the uh, class five LMS Loco. I've got one of those sitting at home. GWR Nella Hall. Then we're on to the carriages, the coaches. Look at that. Double page spreads of coaches. Look at that, operating mail coach set. Brilliant. Now that was playtime. This must be an early version because those became black and a slightly different shape. And I've got one of those, which we will see at a later date. And this, this is a great picture with a coach lighting unit. I mean, that just looks real, doesn't it? It looks like some 1940s film. She waves him off at the station as he goes off to war. Or is he wearing a trilby? Look at that, all the little coaches. And this was something I never understood. I mean, those cars, they used to make these little cars from Hornby cars were rubbish. Look at that big crane look. And the operating all set. There you go. Power accessories and controllers. No mention of zero ones yet. Look at that. that that's proper 1970s electrics, that is. You send a rocket to the moon with one of those. Or the track. Track and track accessories. Look, track plan stencil. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting one of those and, and, and trying it out. Track plans catalog. Now I've got, I've got this one. It's a lovely little catalog. There you go. Then the buildings and scenic accessories. So we've got like the artist's impressions, the designs, what have you, from the architect or whoever. Then you go for the photographs. And they all look really appealing. You know, just stick some context in there. Look at that what you can do with your layout if you're rich look at that nice uh, starburst filters four point starburst filters on the old lit up signals you've got the different signal gantries signal box like oh mr garner stays in i've actually now here's one so my friend's a signalman and i used to occasionally visit him in in one of the one of the signal boxes I've, I've pulled the old levers, I take a lot of effort, hell of a lot of effort, you'd be surprised. But I've also pressed the horrible man button and stopped all the traffic in town, <laughs> which is quite good. Barry's came down and there I stood going, <laughs> brilliant. Really enjoyed it, just because I'm nasty like that. There you go, look at that, look at those engine sheds, all those lovely engines in. Nice, silly old turntable. I'm gonna to have to end up getting one of those. Now look at that. Look at that. The mainline station. Now this always reminds me of Thorpe Station in Norwich. It looks really odd there. I bet it goes straight above. But, but how ridiculous. Who wants out on a layout? It looks awful. It looks absolutely awful. Here you go. 
The R191 cold stage, I had that as a kid, I've got another one now. I thought that was brilliant, that one. It looked more realistic than most of the, the Hornby buildings of the time. Yeah, bridges and inclines, look at that. There's, there's a dad and his son, allegedly. See that plane? I would have thought they'd have moved that train out of the way, to be honest. Yeah, while they're doing that. Look at that. New, new. I've just flogged some of those. And there's the back. Now that is really a fantastic little catalogue. That's got to be a favourite. 